Hey, what's up, everybody? Ashton here. Just Shut wanted to. Shut up! What the heck, dude? Dude, you look like an idiot. God, I'm just trying to vlog. Jerk. The process of growing as a creative requires a ton of failure and a lot of risk taking. So let's talk about it. Hey, if you're new to my channel, I just wanted to introduce myself. I am Ashton, and this channel is all about growing in your creativity and developing new skills as a videographer. If you get any value out of this video, feel free to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. I upload a new video every single Monday, hopefully to inspire you to grow in your creativity. The failure and the risk taking that we're talking about today comes in three forms. The first is just that of self-doubt. You get in the middle of a project and you start to hesitate because you might not be good enough or your gear isn't good enough or whatever. And you end up being your own worst critic. That doesn't help you at all. There's a couple things that I do to overcome this self-doubt. One of them is just take a break. Get a drink of water, take a walk, take a bathroom break if you have to, but just change the subject in your mind for a little bit. Get a fresh mind to look at it again and come back to it in 20 minutes. The other thing that I do to overcome that self-doubt is to just look at the project from a different perspective. Push your laptop farther away or flip it upside down. Sometimes just getting that different perspective helps you overcome self-doubt. The second obstacle in facing failure and taking risks is teachability. You've heard it said that failure is the best teacher, but failure alone won't teach you anything. You have to find a way to slow down and learn from it so that next time you fail, you won't fall so hard. And the next time you take a risk, you won't be so afraid. The last obstacle we run into is dealing with haters. 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 Everybody has haters. It doesn't matter how good you are or how crappy you are. You're gonna have haters. You're gonna post a video and it'll end up with a dislike. You'll end up posting a poem to a blog and someone won't like it. That's just how creativity goes. So how do you overcome the haters? How do you overcome the negativity that inevitably comes to you anytime you share something creative? I would say it comes down to one word, resilience. It's not going to get easier, you're just going to get better at being resilient. So being resilient is absolutely the most important thing because you're going to have more problems. You'll have more dislikes and you'll end up having people who don't like what you do. But that doesn't mean that you should stop. So how do you become more resilient? How do we overcome the negativity and the criticism? Well, a practical thing is just surrounding yourself with people who are also growing. And I found that in community, you'll end up growing more as a creative thinker and a creative person. It also might be helpful to just sort of starve the emotion from the situation. We get so invested in our projects, sometimes it's hard for us to see clearly what's actually happening when someone offers you negativity or criticism. I think all criticism has some validity to it, but figuring out what parts of it are helpful and will actually help you grow is an incredibly important skill. So slow down and read the comments. Don't let it attack you personally, but figure out how it could be helpful to you. If it's not helpful, just throw it out. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next Monday.